the IP side, um, it's a bit nervous. I know there's one or two patent attorneys in the, in the audience. Uh, that's the, the main sort of areas. We've got patents, know-how, uh, trademarks, design registration, and copyright. Um, important to know what, what a patent can do for you, apart from protection in terms of uh, markets and, and manufacturing and options, but uh, it can also be used as a, a marketing tool as well. So sort of an interesting uh, example there would be the, this bomb here. Um, bombs are dropping on London in the last war of different designs, and uh, they weren't quite sure how to uh, disarm them until some bright spark looked at the, the patent on, on that device, and they detailed exactly what the, bo what the bomb uh, looked like on the inside, and obviously gave a good idea of how to uh, defuse it. So the IP centers will, will give advice in, in these areas as long as uh, the innovation managers. Bit of light-hearted relief. Um, one of the pitfalls, I suppose. Uh, this is a company that, whoops. This is a company that developed uh, this doorbell here for, for animals. No doubt they spent a bit of money developing, prototyping, but when they came to file a, a patent, it was, um, when they looked into it, it was actually cited in the Beano <laughs> a couple of months prior to that, uh, uh, that filing date, where you can see Nasher there knocking a, or pushing a doorbell there. So it's, it's interesting to understand some of the pitfalls that uh, you can fall into. A commercialization, as I said, that's the, um, that's the areas uh, where our uh, commercialization manager uh, gets involved in, uh, basically as an introduction, so helping all our new innovations meet um, uh, their, their uh, customers. Very quickly, the, uh, the sort of support that's available ranges from this single investment fund uh, through the, the main SIF R&D support there, 